what is good internet today again from caesar graphics welcome to my channel i'm the caesar in this tutorial i'm going to be teaching you guys how to achieve a simple movie poster now what i love about this tutorial is the color grading and also the playing with the title i'm sure you're going to enjoy this video if you need the xss file simply make use of the link in the description section of this video so let's start All right, so let's start by creating a new document. So I'm going to click on file here and I'm going to select new. So I'm going to name this project 12. All right, and I'm going to give the width 890 and height is going to be 313. As I'm going to make the resolution 72, color mode is going to be on RGB and I'm going to leave every other settings the way they are and select the create button. Now I'm going to drag the image of my character now from the exercise file and drop like that and then i'm gonna make this real big we need to zoom out all right don't forget to do that so just zoom out and make this bigger if we come here also what i'm gonna do to the picture of my subject here is to make him look tall all right so uh i'm going to select curve adjustment from the adjustment tab so if you don't have your adjustment tab on your photoshop application simply go to windows and activate it here all right so i'm going to do the s curve now i'm going to push this down a bit like that all right and i'm going to move this side up to uh post the, sh the highlight all right so this part of my curve controls the shadow and this part controls the highlight all right so i'm going to just increase the highlight a bit and then push the shadow down like that all right then the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to hold on alt and click on the new layer icon to create a new layer all right so i'm going to call this layer bond okay and i'm going to change my blend mode here to soft light and check the fill with soft light neutral color 50 percent gray option here and i'm going to select the okay button all right so what, what what i'm trying to do here now is i want to i want to add depth to my character here so i'm going to select the bond tool like that all right and i'm going to increase my brush size and I'm going to zoom in and then I'm going to apply my brush to the face of my subject here. All right. All right like that so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to add another curve adjustment and i'm going to call this curve adjustment shadow depth i really want my shadow to uh pop more so i'm going to just push this down like that all right and i'm going to select the layer mask of the curve adjustment and i'm going to hit ctrl i to reverse the mask now i'm going to switch to white here by clicking on this icon here like that and i'm going to increase my brush size a bit and this time all right i'm going to be on my brush too okay and i'll make my flow um uh, 13. now the reason why i'm making my flow 13 is because i want to be able to control the strength of my brush all right so then i'm going to apply the brush here like that and i'll apply it here right now this is good so the next thing i'm going to do now is to stamp visible my project so now the next thing we're going to do now is to stamp visible the project because it's time for us to add contrast to the pixels of our subject here so i'm going to uh change this layer now to custom i'm going to call it custom like i said the idea here is to make it look is to make our subject look tough and that's what i'm trying to achieve here said now so i'm going to go to filter and I'll select other here and hit custom. All right, now look at this. Look at how sharp the quality of the image is. All right, so I'm going to select the OK button. And right now, I don't want the contrast to affect parts where we have the hair on our subject because 
um, is not really helping what I want to achieve here. So I'm going to add a layer mask to this and I'm going to select the brush too. All right. I'm going to select the brush too and I'm going to increase my brush. Then I'm going to switch to black here because my layer mask here is set to white. Then I'm going to apply the brush to the bears like that. Right. So I don't want it to touch the bears. All right, so now um, it's time for us to start doing the color grading. So I'm going to select um, color balance. The color I'm looking out for here is brown. All right, so I'm going to mix the color now. So I'm going to start with mid tone here. So I'm going to move my red down to um, let's to let's say 35. Yeah, and I'm going to add yellow to this. So I'm going to move this till I see that I'm okay with the value of the year all right so i'm gonna make this let's make this 18 and let's see if we add more red to this yeah this is looking more like it aha uh -huh, this is exactly what i'm looking for so but right now is really affecting the shadow and i don't want that so i'm gonna go under the shadow and i'm gonna add just soft cyan to this i'm gonna add maybe let's say minus four all right and i'm gonna add just soft blue to this all right, let's say minus four, like that. All right, so this is good. I want to change the color on the bears because it's affecting the bear here, and I don't want that to happen. So what I'm going to do is to add hue saturation, and I'm going to reduce, all right, the saturation like that. All right, I'm going to reduce saturation like that, and I'm going to hit Control I to reverse the mask. All right, so I'm trying to take the color balance away from the bears. All right, so I'm going to increase my brush size, and I'm going to start with the eyebrow. Now, make sure your foreground is set to white. And I'm going to apply the brush to the eyebrow. All Right, this is good. So the next thing I'm going to do is, I'm not really feeling the shadow on the lips part here is not uh, really okay. And uh, the shadow I have on the eye is not really okay. Like I said, I'm trying to make him look tough. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to add a uh, curb adjustment. And I'm going to move this down like that. All right, then I'm going to blend it this. So I'll double click on the layer. All right, because I only want this to touch the shadow and not the mid tone and highlight. So I'm going to move from here. All right, and I hold on Alt and split the slider and just smooth the curve like that. And I'm going to select the OK button. Then I'm going to hit Control I to reverse uh, the mask. Now make sure you're on the thumbnail of the curve adjustment when you're hitting Control I. All right, then I'm going to make sure that my foreground here is set to white. All right. And I'm going to reduce my brush size and zoom in. Okay, then I'm going to apply the brush to the layer mask to bring back the curve to the lips like that. And for this side here, I'm going to just bring it back. So what I'm going to do is, I really want to boost the lights effect on the eye of my subject. But before I do that, I need to reduce the uh, layer of the high pass here. So I'm going to just you know, move that. I mean, the custom, all right? I need to reduce the opacity of the custom layer because the details, all right? The contrast is looking too, you know, too much for me. All right, now this is good. All right, then I'll go straight to curve here and just push this like that. And I'm going to hit Ctrl I to reverse the mask. I'll make my flow, um, let's make it 60 like that. All right, then I'm going to zoom in to the eye, reduce my brush size, 
and make sure when you're doing this you are on the soft round brush very important make sure you're on the soft round brush all right so i'm just going to apply that back like that all right hold on space bar to drag my screen and i'm going to do the same thing here right and I'll zoom out and look at this this is looking more like a movie poster all right yeah this is looking more like a movie poster then the next thing i'm going to do is to you know come down the highlight color here so i'll go under selective uh adjustment here and i'm going to go down here and select white because the highlight on my subject here is too uh, bright for me so i'm going to dial down the highlight by moving this down to this side you know like that now this is beautiful this is exactly what i'm looking for the other thing i'm going to do now is to change the color of the beers so to do that i'm going to uh because i can see some uh, um the, the gray color from the bears here so i want to dial it down all right so i'm going to go under adjustment button here and select solid and on that solid here, I'm going to use, um, let's use something a bit darker like that. And I'm going to select the OK button. Then I am going to blend it this by double clicking on the layer like that. Double click on it to bring out the layer style. And I'm going to blend it this. So I only want this to touch the, the, uh, the gray hair. So I'm going to move this to this side, you know, like that. And I'm going to hold on Alt and split the slider. This should go this way and this should go here like that. All right. Then I'm going to select the OK button. So let the layer mask of the color fill. All right. So let's just, let's just put, put reduce. So then I'm going to be on the layer mask of the reduced gray layer. And I'm going to hit Ctrl I to reverse the mask. Now make sure that your foreground here is set to white. Very important. And make sure you're on the soft round brush like I am right now. All right, so I'm going to increase my brush size, okay? And I'm going to bring back the reduced gray layer to the project like that. So I'll go back to the reduced gray layer. I'll double click on the thumbnail of the color picker, all right? And I'm going to make this more darker like that make it darker okay like that i'm going to select the okay button and look at this this is looking excellent all right so i'm going to reduce the opacity a bit like that let's just make it 90 and i'm going to apply here also okay like that okay uh this is making sense now and what I'm going to do now is to add noise to the project. So I'm going to hold on Alt and click on the new layer icon and call this layer noise. All right. And I'm going to change my mode here to soft light and check the fill with soft light, neutral color, 50% gray option. And I'm going to select the OK button. Then I'll go to filter, uh, noise, and I'm going to say add noise. All right. Then I'm going to make my noise. Let's just make the noise. Um, make it 13.46 like that and i'm gonna select the okay button all right now look at this we already have a movie poster before we get to the playing with the title i want to especially thank those of you who have subscribed to my channel and if you have not subscribed kindly do so now because i'm going to be posting more tutorials like this for you guys so in order for you not to miss any of my tutorial remember to check the post notification bell all right so let's continue if you, if you need the type I'm going to be using in this tutorial, you can find the link in the description section of this video. All right, so I'm going to go to my text to here and I'm going to click right here to type one. Okay, uh, I'm going to activate the free transform and make this bigger. Hit the enter key. Now I need to put everything here in a group. Very important. All right, then, all right, go to the type layer and go to property tab here and look for um ds digital this is it here ds dash digital so i'm going to click on it and this should come right here like that all right and I, it should be on bold italics i'm going to make a copy of the layer by hitting ctrl j and this should come right here and i'll change this to two Like that, right? 
Then I'll shift select the two layers now, make a copy of this, change this to, to eight at eight. Wait. And Okay, so let's see. I'll move this here for now. But you know what? Let's just reduce the opacity, right? I'm going to reduce the opacity so we can see what we are doing. All right, so I'm going to move. I'm going to move this to this side a bit, like that. Activate one, and one should overlap on this. Activate two. And two should come right here, like that. So then move this here. Okay. All right. So then I'll go straight to the, the uh, exercise folder and I'm going to drag this and drop here. And then I'm going to crop this. Crop this. If you want to learn how to use the pen tool, all right, I have a tutorial on my channel here that teaches how to use the pen tool. Okay, so I'm going to drag this and drop here, like that. Okay, and I'm going to convert this to smart objects. I'm going to rotate this like that. This should come right here. Okay, I'll make a copy of this, hide this, and this should go inside the one. Like that. All right, so I'll push this down here. So I'll make the same move again, make a copy, push this here, wait three transform, rotate this. This should come here. And I'm gonna hold on hold and put this inside that make the shape. All right, so I'm going to use the lasso tool here to just cut this out. Control J, and this should come out, and this, I'm going to hide this, all right, and I'm going to hold on out and put this inside the shape, like that, all right? And I'll move this to this side here, so okay, this is good. Then I'm going to make, I'm going to make this visible again. Activate the free transform and rotate this, and i make this a bit smaller. Then I'll reduce your capacity. Right? And reverse this out from here. So I'll hit Ctrl J. And this should be here. And I'm going to hide this. And I'm going to make this go back to 100. And put this here. Right there. All right. So let's do the next one. Um, so what I'm going to do is I make this visible again. I'm going to rotate it again. Okay, Let's see what we can use here. I move this here like that. Hit the enter key. Select the lasso tool again. And then just cut this like that. Good. Then I'm going to use Control J to cut that out. And this should come here. I'm going to hide this again. Make this visible then i'm going to drag this and drop in here like that so let's see we have just these two shapes left make this visible again then activate the free transform and position this somewhere here like that cut this up okay good hit ctrl j push this up Hide this, then put this in here and increase the opacity like that. All right, it's making sense. So I'll make, make this visible again. Make sure you're on the layer. Activate the free transform, rotate this like that. And we can move this here like that. Lasso two again. Now, uh, oh, sorry, cut this out. Then from the J. Push this down, hide this, and drag this and draw in here like that, and increase the opacity. Now let's play more, right? So I'm going to go back to this layer here, and I'm going to make a copy of this and change my blend mode to square. 
Then I'm gonna hold on Alt, place my mouse in between the two layers and click till I see the black arrow with the white box to put the object inside the figure, right? So I'm gonna move this up here because the idea of doing this is to make it have this glass effect. All right, so I'm gonna rotate this this way and this can just come right here, like there. I look at this like that. So just fine tune it. This can come here. Yeah, like that. So let's do the same move to this. Okay. And for J, hold on Alt, flip it back in and change the blend mode to screen. And this can come here. Like that. Good. So the same move again to this. Then control J. Now this time, please never move. Don't move this. Just hold out alt and place your mouse in between the two layers. And I'm going to clip this back inside the shape. All right. So I'll change this to screen. Then this can come here. So go for this. Um, I'm going to draw a marquee shape like that. And hit delete. Okay, like that. So I want to have this straight uh, line here. All right. Then for this, we're going to make the same move again. Control J, hold on Alt. Then place your mouse in between the two layers and click back and change your blend mode here to screen. Then this can come down like that. Right. Push this down like that. Same move to this. Control J. Hold on, Alt, clip, screen. Let's push this down here, like that. Let's put this. Put J, screen, hold on, Alt, clip it back. Then we can move this here, like that. Okay, good. Now, for the uh, figure eight here, all right? So what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to create a new layer, all right? Now make sure your foreground and background is set to black and white like mine now, and go to filter, go to render, and select cloud, all right? I'm going to zoom out like that, activate the free transform and fill this down, all right? Okay. Show this like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold on control. All right. Hold on control and shift at the same time. And I'm going to click on the thumbnail of the two eight layers like that to activate the marquee of the layers. Then I'm going to hide these two layers. Then I'm going to select the layer mask icon here. Okay. Okay, so let's continue. So I'm going to reduce the opacity a bit like that. Then I'm going to put everything here in a row. So I've just selected all the layers and I'm going to hit Ctrl G. So I'm going to call this the title like that. Move to the title. Then I'll go to a uh, color look up here. Then I'm going to click on the clip icon. Then I'll go under the 3D load file here and select HG Humble like that. All right, then uh, I'm going to um, select curve, okay, and select the clip icon and then boost this like that. All right, I'm gonna boost it like that, okay. Yeah, this is good. Then I'm also going to add hue saturation and I'm gonna select the clip icon here and then increase the saturation like that. Then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to create two layers. So one is going to be behind the title like that. And I'm going to call this brush. Okay. All right. You know what? Before we create second layer, right? Let's just first apply our brush to the, uh, you know, to our title here. So I'm going to select the brush tool and I'm going to sample a color from here, reduce my brush size, and I'm going to softly apply the brush to this side and also to this side like that. And I'm going to sample a color from here again and just apply the brush here. Then the same move here, hold on Alt, sample the color, apply the brush like that. Then just softly apply it here. 
Then here you can just do the same move. Here you can do the same move like that. That's good. So we're going to make the same move here. Alt, sample your color, apply it here, apply it here, alt, apply it here like that. Good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a copy of this layer and this layer should be above this like that. Then we are going to change the blend mode to color dodge and I'm going to double click on the um, color dodge layer. All right. And I'm going to turn off transparency like that and I'm going to select the OK button. Now I'm going to activate the free transform on this and I'm going to uh, make this a bit smaller and this should form out a bit like that all right so we can even still apply the brush to the layer just in case we are not really satisfied with the results like that so for this side here i can just you know apply the brush again here apply the brush let's see what we have now now this is looking good and i'll go straight to the layer of uh the, the group folder excuse me of the title and I'm going to reduce the opacity of the cloud layer, all right? Because it's really affecting the visibility of our 12 here, all right? So, yes. So, then for this, okay, I'm going to hold down control and click on the thumbnail of the layer mask of the cloud layer, all right? And I'll go straight to the um, brush glow. Color Dodge here, so I'll call this Color Dodge. They just call it Color Dodge, all right? I'll call it Color Dodge. Okay. Then I'm going to apply the brush to this side like that. It shouldn't be too heavy, all right? It shouldn't be too heavy. Just softly apply it. And I can apply it here also. And just apply it here like that. And this side, you can also apply it. And just it's this side. Let's hit Ctrl D and look at what we have. Look at this beautiful title that we have here. All right, then I'm going to put this in a group like that. Then I'm going to call this title. All right, so it should be the title. Group. All right, good. Then we need to create a glitch effect. So I'm going to drag the glitch image that I downloaded from Google and drop here. Then I'll go under the channels tab. So if you can't find your channels tab, simply go to Windows and activate channels. All right. So then I'm going to hold down control and click on the thumbnail of the gray layer here and go back to the layers tab. And I'm going to hit control J like that. All right. So then I'm going to move this and drop on my project like that and convert this to a smart object and activate free, free transform. And I'm going to just scale this down and this should come right here like that. So I'm going to call this glitch. Okay. So then I'm going to make a copy of this and I'm going to position this here. Okay. This is good. All right. So then I'm going to make a copy of the title now because we're about to uh, convert this to a smart object and also rasterize it. All right. We need to rasterize it. So once you rasterize it, you can edit it again. All right. So I'm going to move this back. All right. I'm going to move this back a bit like that. Yep. So I'm going to hold down control and click on the thumbnail of this. No, this very first glitch here. I'm going to hide it and I'm going to add a layer mask to this. Look at this. And I'm going to move this out a bit like that. All right. Then, so let's do this again. So I'm going to make a copy of this again. All right, then I'm going to convert this to a smart object like that and also rasterize it. So I'm going to hold down control and click on the thumbnail of this layer here and hide that. Now make sure you're on the layer of the title copy that you just duplicated now. And uh, remember to click on the layer mask icon here. All right, then I'm going to turn off the chain now and I'm going to move the layer back like so. All right, so we need to turn this off. So I'm going to move this in here like that. So then I am going to hold down control and click on the thumbnail of the layer mask that we applied to uh, the title copy layer here, which is this very first title copy layer here. And I'm going to select the title layer 
and I'm going to add a layer mask like that. Then I'm going to hit Ctrl I to reverse the mask like that. And um, let's connect the chain back. And this should go forward and move up a bit. All right. So let's just move it here a bit. Okay. This is good. This is good. All right. Then we're going to make the same move to this side of the title again. I'm going to hold down Control and position my mouse on the layer mask of the title copy tool and click all right then i'm going to select the, the layer mask of the title again and i'm going to hold down control backspace so i'm applying the color of my background here to the layer mask so i hold down control and backspace like that and hit control d to deselect the marquee and now we need to be on the move tool and i'm going to move this also to this side like that now what i'm going to do is I'm going to select the glitch, this glitch layer here, and I'm going to move this out a bit and reduce the size with uh, free transform. And I'm going to double click on the layer to activate the layer style. I'll go on that color overlay here and go on the color overlay option. Then I'm going to sample this color here like that. And I'm going to select the OK button and hit the OK button. And this should come right here like that. Okay, you can even activate the free transform and just you know push this in, right? Actually, I'm not really feeling this color, so I'm going to change it. So I'll go back to the color overlay here. I order, so you're going to double click on the color overlay to activate the layer style again, and I'm going to pick this color here. Okay, this is good. So I'm going to select the OK button and hit the OK button like that. All right, then I'll make the same move again back. So I'm going to hit Ctrl J to make a copy of the glitch layer and position this here. And then I'm going to double click on the color overlay again. And I'm going to change the color of this to this color here. Hit the OK button. Hit the OK button. And now we can make a copy of this again and position this here. Then, uh, Double click, double click, double click on the color overlay layer again to activate the layer style, and then we can move uh, our color picker to this side of the one figure one, and I'm gonna select the OK button and hit the OK button like that. Now look at this; we have a beautiful title here. This is beautiful. All right. So then I'm gonna add the other information to the project now. All right. So I downloaded this. Um, movie credits png from google so you can also get it from the internet it's easy to get and um yeah so the, the character that i use here is fat boy slim so you can also get that from the internet so the last thing we're going to do now is to uh boost the color on our subject face here so i'm going to activate hue saturation and increase the saturation like that and boom we have a unique looking movie poster like that okay i'm glad you made it to the end of this tutorial if you have not subscribed remember to do so now and remember to click the post notification bell so you get notified when i post my tutorials drop a comment if there's anything you want to share with me and also remember to give this video a thumbs up share this video with other designers and if you're able to achieve this tutorial simply post it on your instagram page and remember to tag me my Instagram handle is at Caesar Graphics. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.